guys, me, Host Super Soul. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. Now, this is the six inch pop variant. There are the little dart versions available, and you can get the chase with the closed up face. But I've gone for the massive <laughs> six inch version of the Demogorgon. And I did pick this bad boy up for just, what's that, 16, 99, 17 pounds at um, Traveling Man in York. Uh, which is a comic book retailer. They do have a selection of awesome pops. Usually have some good chasers down there as well. Uh, some variants. So make sure you go ahead and check them out. That's the Travelling Man in York. There is a Travelling Man in Manchester and a couple of other places. So check them out. They're a nice alternative to, for, to Forbidden Planet. Guys, what are your thoughts on this one? I'm going to break him out of the packaging and we can definitely take a close look. So guys, you're all going to kill me. I love Stranger Things. I'm still on season one though. <laughs> I'm on the episode where they've put L in the uh, like a swimming pool inside the school to try and locate the kids on the uh, the other side or the underworld not 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 the underworld but like the upside down world or something do they call it and then the 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 sheriff and the mum have gone missing and then the two oldest the two older kids have disappeared now. So yeah, leaving the kids alone. It's a great series though. Uh, it holds a lot of nostalgia, obviously being set in the 80s. It holds a lot of nostalgia for me. So I definitely like Stranger Things. I just haven't I found much to review on the channel so far. I'm still trying to find the kids in the Ghostbuster costumes along the back of this box. Because that is from season two, which I haven't seen yet. But the fact that they're in the Ghostbuster costumes, I need that. That is so cool. Okay guys, so here is the demo Gorgon. Looking pretty awesome. Um, it's not a bobble head, it's got a swivel head, which is nice. So we can get it posed. I'll probably have it like this. Yeah, you can have it straight on if you wanted to, but why would you get a little bit of a pose going on? I'm surprised this doesn't come with a base, but surprisingly he does stand up on his own. A little bit of a wobble at first, but you cannot get him to pose on his own. Are you guys a fan of Stranger Things? Let us know in the comments. I'm going to go to the desk cam though to give you guys a close personal look at the Demogorgon. So let's go and zoom in with the, uh, the, the, clip, the cam and you'll be able to see him a little bit better. So guys, here he is out of the packaging, the Demogorgon. Just $16.99 like I said at my local Travelling Man. This is from Stranger Things, a Netflix original series. If you haven't seen it already, what have you been doing with your life? Definitely check it out. It's such a good TV programme. But let's look at the figure itself. So there's a lot of nice artwork gone into this. I like all the different shades of sort of white and red and pink that's gone in there to make it look human flesh looked. Or like fleshy sort of thing. I think they could have done more with this, but the, it is fine as is. If we move down to the body as well, there's some nice blemishes and pinks and purples been thrown in there to give it a bit of texture. I like all the little indentations and things. Just makes it seem more real. They've even gone ahead and painted the toes a different colour, which is awesome, or the claws. Uh, it's just a shame they didn't follow suit with the hands. Well, he hasn't really got nails in his hands, but you know what I mean. They've not done bad, though, with this one. I think they've done quite a good job. Is Stranger Things a TV series you've been watching? Are you a fan of it? Let me know in the comments. Uh, surprisingly, I haven't found too many people in my local area that watch it. A lot of my fans, uh, friends and fans haven't seemed to have watched this. Some people have the, the interpretation that it's going to be a horror and it's going to be scary, but it's not. It's straight up science fiction fantasy. And um, like I said, it holds a lot of nostalgia being set in the 80s for me. Um, obviously, I remember all the things they're doing and playing, and I had the same sort of childhood and bringing up, so I think it's great. But what are your thoughts on this figure? Let us know in the comments down below. And let's go back to the main cam and finish this one off. So guys, finally, what are your thoughts on the Demogorgon? Let me know in the comments down below. If you are new to the channel, guys, please smash that subscribe button. It really supports us, it really helps us out, and helps us keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and until next time, may the force be with you. Bye!